you may be seated. Welcome family and friends. We're gathered here today in the sight of God and his angels, in the presence of friends and loved ones, and those here in heart and in spirit to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love, and to add our best wishes and blessings to the words which shall unite Keith Smith and Lisa Radliff in holy matrimony. Marriage is the most honorable estate created and instituted by God. Today, both of you are blessed with God's greatest of all gifts, the gift of abiding love and devotion between a man and a woman. We learn to love by being loved. Learning to love and live together is one of life's greatest challenges and is the shared goal of a married life. Within the Bible, nothing is more important than love. We are sure that love conquers all. It is love which brings us here today, the union of two hearts and two spirits. As your lives, hold up. God, is that you? <laughs> I didn't even get to that protest. <laughs> Now you have to put it on speaker if this happens during the wedding. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, it is love that brings you here today, the union of two hearts and two spirits. As your lives continue to interweave into one pattern, remember that it was love that brought you here today. It is love that will make this, uh, this a glorious union, and it is love which will cause this union to endure. All right, would you please face each other, which you're already doing, <laughs> and join hands. Keith, do you take Lisa to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding only her forevermore? I do. Lisa, do you take Keith to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only to him forevermore. Reading from Corinthians 13, 4, 8a, the Bible says, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Keith, repeat after me. I'm going to break down into small sections. Thank so you. Small <laughs> <laughs> I, Keith, I, Keith, take you, Lisa, to be my wife. Take you, Lisa, to be my wife. To have and to hold, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, the richer or for poor, the richer and for poor, and I promise to love. I promise my love to you forevermore. I promise my love to you forevermore. Lisa, repeat after me. I'm just gonna say yours all in one because I know you. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, Lisa. I, Lisa. Take you, Keith, to be my husband. Take you, Keith, to be my husband. To have and to hold, to have and to hold in, sickness and in, health, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer. and I promise my love to you forevermore. And I promise my love to you forevermore. Okay, exchange of the rings. The wedding ring is the outward and visible symbol of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two loyal hearts in endless love. Keith, will you take Lisa's ring and put it on? Her finger, then repeat after me. I give this ring to you, Lisa. I give this ring to you, Lisa. As a constant reminder. As a constant reminder. Of my devotion of love. Of my devotion of love. I dedicate myself in righteousness. I dedicate myself in righteousness. To the pursuit of our mutual good and happiness. To the pursuit of our mutual good and happiness. And I willingly and gladly. And I willingly and gladly. Share with, you share with you all that I possess, all that I possess. Till, death shall part us. till death shall part us. Lisa, will you take Keith's ring and put it on his finger and then repeat after me? I give you this ring, Keith, I give you this ring, Keith. As, a constant reminder as a constant reminder of my devotion of love. Of my devotion of love. I 
dedicate myself in righteousness to the pursuit of our mutual good and happiness. And I willingly and gladly share with you all that I possess till death shall part us. For as much in Keith and Lisa have consented together and pledged their faith to each other in holy wedlock and have witnessed their vows before God and his company of friends and loved ones and have sealed the same by giving and receiving rings, I therefore, by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, pronounce that they are husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Let us pray. God, we ask for your blessings upon this man and woman as we celebrate this momentous occasion in their lives. Grant them happiness and contentment as they establish their new home, create a new family, and explore the depths of their love for one another and for you. Bless their families and friends and the relationships which have supported, strengthened, and sustained them throughout their lives. Bless their home as a place of love and of peace. Amen. 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 Keith and Lisa, as the two of you come into this marriage, uniting you as husband and wife, and as you this day affirm your faith and love for one another, I would ask that you always remember to cherish each other as special and unique individuals, that you respect the thoughts, ideas, and suggestions of one another. Be able to forgive, do not hold grudges, and live each day that you may share it together. As from this day forward, you shall be each other's home, comfort, and refuge, your marriage strengthened by your love and respect. Keith and Lisa, in so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, have promised your love for each other by these vows, the giving of these rings, and the joining of your hands, I now declare you to be husband and wife. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance unto you and give you peace congratulations you may kiss your bride <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i present to you mr and mrs robert keith smith <laughs>